Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for Anywhere by Bill Murphy. This has not been posted yet, uh, but it will be at some point. So I am getting ahead on my recordings. Um, this is a classic Sudoku. So Bill didn't even say normal Sudoku rules apply, but normal Sudoku rules do apply. One to nine inch row, column, and box. Um, and that's it. So we can just get started. And what are we looking at here? Looks like we have something going on with pairs in this puzzle. So I notice I have a 2, 3 here and a 2, 3 here. So 2 and 3 are not in these cells. So that means the only two cells in box 1 that can contain 2 and 3 are these two cells. 5 and 6 now can't go here because that's 2 or 3. And they can't go here. So... 5 and 6 go in these cells. This is 6 and 5. And this has got to be a 9 to finish the box. Do we have something similar down here? We do with 7 and 8. So these cells are not 7 and 8. And this is called a hidden pair. So it is the only two cells that can contain these two digits. So they have to contain those two digits in some order. Um, it's just the two-digit version of a hidden single. Um, four and five can't go in this cell. And five here gives four, five, and a one to finish the box. So that's a good start. These are two, three, four, and six. I see two, three, six here. And this is not six. So that's going to give us a two, three pair in the column. And then we have 2, 3, 6 in some order. And actually, I see 2 and 6 here. So that's 3, 2, and 6 in that order. That 2 goes 3 and 2. Let's see if we can do the same thing up here. We need 4, 6, 7, and 8. 4, 7, and 8 give 6. 4 and 8 give the 7. And then the 4 gives 8 and 4. And that 8 resolves 7 and 8. Now, in this column, we need 1, 7, and 8. And the 1 here and the 7 give 8. And these are 1, 7 in some order. Here we need 2, 3, and 9. We have a 3 and 9 in row 2, leaving a 3, 9 pair. This row needs 1, 4, and 7. The 4 can't go in this box, so it goes there. Then 7 resolves 1 and 7. We need 3, 9, and 5 here. And we have 3, 5. So this is 9, 3, 5. And the 3 resolves that 9 as well. We're left with a 2. Just a second. We're left with a 2 in the column. And then 1, 3, and 6. The 6s give placement of 6, but we are left with a 1-3 pair. Up here we have 1, 6, and 8 with a 6 and a 1, placing 8 and another pair. And I bet we're going to be left with pairs like this, because this looks symmetric, so hopefully that continues. Um, here we need a 6 still, so the 6 has to go there. These are 3 and 9. Resolved. These are 1, 7, and 5. So that gives us 1, 7, 5 in that order. 1 there. We need an 8 in this box. So this is our 8. And then we need 4, 7, and 9. The 7 and 9 look of. And then here we need 2, 4, and 9. 2 and 4 here give 9. Oh, I'm just missing a 6 there. That is resolved. Um, maybe it wasn't resolved earlier. Um, this is 2 and 4, so 2, 4. And yeah, we haven't resolved these yet, but now we just have the central box and these couple of pairs. So here we need 1, 2, 3. We have 1 and 2, so 3, 1, 2, 3 there. Here we need 7, 8, 9. We have 8 and 9 here, giving 7, 9, 7, 8. 
And to finish it off, we have five, we have one, and we have nine. Hey, sorry about the interruption. This is Editing Clover from the future. And I'm just letting you know that yesterday's gas included two puzzles, but Phil uh, pre-recorded the videos, and so they were recorded as two separate videos. I'm just splicing them together. So now here is the solution video for Bill's second puzzle from December 17th, 77%. Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for 77% by Bill Murphy. This is a classic Sudoku, so we only have to worry about normal Sudoku rules. So we're going to place the digits from 1 to 9 in each row, each column, and each 3x3 three three box. And that is it. So, to start with, I'm going to look for digits that appear multiple times in a band, so three rows that cover the same three boxes are referred to as a band, or a stack, so this is a stack. Um, so I can see we have twos here, so two is going to have to appear in one of these cells. Can't appear here because there's a seven, also can't appear here, so it's there. Uh, we also have two fives, and we have a five looking up here, so five can only go in that cell. Down here we have two sevens, so seven needs to appear in one of these cells. Can't go here, so it must go here. And then we have two fours and a four looking down here, placing four there. And now we can do a little more with the digits that we just placed. So we have two fours now. We need a four up here. There's only one place for it. Uh, we have two fives, so we need a five in one of these. We have two sevens, we need a seven in one of these, and two. We need a two down here, it's going to go there. We're left with one eight and nine, but this eight is going to place eight there. The one is going to resolve one and nine. Down here we need three six nine, there's a six here, and then the three here. And then we need one to finish the column three to finish the column, and these are six and eight resolved by our givens. And that's going to finish the central stack. So where do we want to look next? I'll go ahead and pencil mark these cells. Um, neither of these is five, and this is not five. So that's just a single. I didn't need to pencil mark it, but it helped me see it. So that's the only place for five. Uh, we also could have seen it just looking at the fives directly. This is not one. And probably we're going to have something in this row as well. We need a seven somewhere. So that's seven and that seven. Leave that cell as the only place for seven in row six. And then these are three, four, and nine. This one is not three. All right, the sevens look up here. We need a 7 here. We have a given 7 telling us our 7 is in that cell. And now we have four 7s looking into box 3. So this is the only place for 7 in box 3. That is all of the 7s. How about 5? We've got these 5s looking down along with this 5. That places 5 there. And we have four 5s looking at box 7, placing a 5 in the corner. And that's all the 5s. Looking here, we need two, eight, and nine. There's a two and an eight. So these are two, eight, and that's a two. That two is gonna resolve the nine there. How about this row? We need four, six, and nine. Four and six give a nine. And the four down here, six and four. And we should have a lot of nines at this point. So our nine up here, we have four nines looking, placing nine in the corner. And then this isn't resolved yet. We have nines in these cells. Um, this is not nine. 
All right, one, three, and eight in these cells. Uh, not resolved yet. Let's look somewhere else. Eight. Ah, the four here gives us a nine. And that leaves that as the last place for nine. That's what I was missing. I knew I was missing something symmetric. <laughs> um, nine is our digit that is rotationally symmetric with itself. Um, that's kind of a cheat, but, you know, if you see the symmetry, use the symmetry. Uh, two in this box can't go here or here, so it goes here. Eight. These eights tell us that this is the only place for eight in box seven. We need one, two, and three. The one and two get three here. We need four and eight in the box. There's a four up here and an eight here. These are one and three. So one, three. The one gives us two, one, two. These are three, four, and six. Not resolved yet. These are one, three, and six. And I don't see that resolved. These are one and something. Got a one there, so that's one and six. So now six can't go here. And this is a one, three pair with a one there. So three, one, four, three. Six, three, these are six and eight, so eight, six, one, eight, and four. And that's the solution.